Hey designers and welcome back. Today I have a very fun video for you. We are talking Christmas decor, so stick around. Very happy to be doing this video today because talking about Christmas and Christmas decor just makes my heart smile. <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, I was tagged by one of my favorite people, Heather, over at Mom Halls to participate in this tag, and I thought it was a super fun idea and was happy to get involved. If you guys don't yet follow Mom Halls, I encourage you to do so because trust me, you are going to really enjoy her channel and you're going to love her personality. So make sure you click the link down below, hop on over, check her out, and give her a subscribe while you're there. going to jump on in and answer these questions. There are 11 questions in all and they all have to do with holiday decor around the home. So let's just get started. All right, question number one, what is your decor style? I'm not really sure that I know how to define my decor style. Lots of bling, lots of bows, lots of ribbon. <laughs> so whatever that would be called, that would be my decor style. I love all the sparkles of Christmas and the holidays, and I would have as much sparkle and glitter in this house as I possibly could. Question number two, when do you start decorating? We typically put up our main tree the Friday after Thanksgiving, sometimes Saturday. It just depends on if we're wanting to do any black shopping Friday on a particular year, depending on what the deals are. So sometimes we will push that back and wait until Saturday to begin the big main tree. But some of the other decorating around the house, we actually start around Thanksgiving week, sometimes a little sooner, because for some of my videos, I need Christmas decor in the backdrop. So it really just kind of all depends but the main tree goes up Thanksgiving weekend and then of course all the exterior lights start going up during that Thanksgiving week so that we can turn them on for the first time Thanksgiving night. Question number three, what are your favorite Christmas colors? I really don't know if I have a specific set of Christmas colors. Naturally you guys know that I love the teals and turquoise along with the silvers. You can see that behind me. <laughs> and I do have a lot of those colors around the house and I guess probably overall I'd have to say that were my favorite colors. But I also love the sparkly pinks as well. Kind of like the more pastel type pinks mixed in with a little bit of fuchsia pops of color here and there. So that is kind of what I would have to go with as far as my favorite Christmas colors. Question number four, do you change your theme every year? No, we don't change our theme. Usually if we find some decor that we really like, we stick with it quite a while. Question number five, what is your favorite winter scent? If we're talking about like candles and fragrances for in the house, the little tarts that you burn in the tart warmers and plug-ins into the wall, things like that. I love like apple cinnamon type smells because that always smells so Christmassy to me. And I also love the ones that smell like sugar cookies or baked goods, things like that. Like when you walk in the front door, I want it to smell like a delicious, yummy Christmas bakery for the holidays. <laughs> so I love that and probably like that a little more than the, the apples and cinnamon, but I do really also like that apple cinnamon smell and I guess probably because it still reminds me of a baked apple pie. So I guess we're just going to go with baking. Question number six, what is your favorite thing to decorate with? Glitter, <laughs> sparkles, jewels, anything that is a glittery, shimmery, shiny, and bright. That is my favorite thing to use and I will try to find a place everywhere I possibly can to incorporate all that bling. Question number seven, how do you decorate your front yard? Well, the last couple of years, you guys know our situation. We haven't really been able to do much decorating outside as far as in the yard. We've been able to still have all of the exterior lights around the house, but when we have a calmer, 
winter and up until we started redoing our house we would put the lights all around the flower beds and decorate out there we would put our candy canes around the driveway with the beautiful ribbon always stripe the posts on our front porch and also on the windows we would put the ribbons up to make it appear like our windows were big packages if if that kind of makes sense i don't know how to find all those old pictures because they're on some external hard drive somewhere so i don't have those to insert to show you but we really decorate or i do i love to deck the house out and i have every inch of my front yard done if i could afford to do it number eight what is your favorite room to decorate all of them <laughs> if you've been following along with vlogmas this year then you know we have a christmas tree in every room except for my office this year i don't have one in there just simply because everything has just been kind of thrown in there while we're doing all this remodeling and i don't have my tree up in there this year and i don't really have much of the decor in the bathrooms this year either just simply for the same reason just with reconstructing everything we've had to get rid of so much of our holiday decor that i haven't yet repurchased the items now to go back into the new bathrooms but we decorate I decorate every room in the house <laughs> and if I could find a way for people to actually see it I probably would decorate the closets too so my favorite room is all of them question number nine what is your most meaningful decorative piece that's kind of a hard one for me to answer because I have so many that are meaningful. I have tons of ornaments from the kids when they were little and they would make the ornaments to give to me. And I have some that have been given to me by friends and family that I really cherish and they're very meaningful to me as well. But I guess if I had to pick just one that had meaning, since that's the actual word in this question, is meaningful. If I had to pick the one that I think is the most meaningful, I would have to go with this ornament right here. This is our kneeling Santa ornament. We got this the very first Christmas we were married. That was 1988. We have had this ornament all of these years, and it always takes front and center on the tree because I love the meaning behind that, because so many people get caught up with the materialistic side of Christmas and they get caught up with Santa and elves and the magic of the holidays and sometimes forget the real reason that we celebrate and so for me this ornament just kind of sums it all up that even Santa as fun as all that is and as fun as it is taking the kids to see Santa and getting the pictures with Santa and the Christmas lights and all that as fun as that is all of that still bows to the baby Jesus and that's the real reason that we celebrate so if I had to pick just one I guess this one would be it question number 10 do you have a fake or real tree we do have an artificial tree in almost every room of the house <laughs> we have the artificial trees but I love real trees and if we could afford a real Christmas tree every year I probably would get a real tree every year and question number 11 where do you get your Christmas inspiration from I really don't know I mean I guess just whenever I walk around some of the larger malls and the places like that that really jazz things up and go all out with the holiday decor i guess that's probably where a lot of my inspiration has come from through the years just when you visit different places or even different people's homes and you just see all the beauty of how they bring it all together and put it all together you just kind of pull little aspects from this person or from this location or just different places where you've been and different things that you've seen you just kind of begin to develop your style if that makes sense and then as I'm out shopping and I see these type of items that are for sale during that holiday season, you just pick them up, bring them home, and, and then add your own spin on it, put your own twist in there. But I guess that's where I would have to say that most of my inspiration has come from is just looking around me, seeing everything that everyone else has done, and then just pulling it all together to put a little bit of my own style with it. 
All right, and that's all the questions. This was a pretty fun tag, Heather. Thank you so very much for tagging me. Don't forget to go over and check her out. And now I guess it's time for me to tag a few people as well. I've been trying to think of who I wanted to tag that I thought would participate because one thing I find is that usually when I tag people, <laughs> they don't always follow through because they either just don't have the time or are interested in doing tag videos. But I came up with three that I think may do it and no pressure ladies if you guys are too busy with this holiday season obviously we all understand so no pressure for me if you can't get it done. But I would like to hear the answers to these questions from Teresa over at Cha Cha Cake. She is one of my favorite YouTubers to watch. been watching her now for several years and I'd love to hear your answers to these. I also would love to hear here from Kira at Style My Curves. Kira, you and I have a lot of the same taste and whenever you have uploaded a lot of your decor haul videos and then your pictures on Instagram, I find that we are just like right in sync, girlfriend, with our taste, especially with that beautiful teal and turquoise color and the zebra print and all that. So I would love to hear from you. And then I also would like to tag Catherine from Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. Catherine, I've gotten to know you a little bit over this this last year or so and your home is beautiful your your DIY projects are amazing and so I would like to hear some of these answers about your holiday decor as well so those are the three that I'm gonna tag I'm gonna have their links for you down below as well go ahead and hop on over give them a subscribe so that when they get the chance to upload their video you'll be able to see their answers too. I'm going to have all these questions listed down in the box, so any of you who want to jump on in and do the tag, definitely do that so we can hear from you. And if you do it, make sure that you comment below giving me your link so that I can come over and check out your video as well, because I'd like to hear what all of you have to say. Christmas is just a fun time of year. I want to thank all of you so very much for watching this afternoon. I hope you are having the merriest of Christmas seasons, and I will see you soon in the next video.